And here we are in Milan, back with Ronnie. You might remember him from such videos as Miami. Miami. <laughs> <laughs> We've been all over the world together. Thailand, LA, Miami, Houston, Roswell, New Mexico for the, uh, we had to go see if the aliens were real. Now, <laughs> we're in Milan, of course. We're world travelers, this is what we do. Welcome to Milan. <laughs> The Gallery of Victorio Emmanuel II is Italy's most iconic and oldest shopping district named after the first king of Italy and a landmark here in Milan. Its high-end retailers, historic cafes, and elegant restaurants sit beneath an iron and glass structure. The Galleria is located right next to Piazza Duomo. I'm here with Ronnie and our friend Bobby. Ronnie wants to do a little shopping. But having Checking out these mosaics, pretty incredible. There is a legend that says if you could find the bowl on the mosaic and spin three times around on his testicles, it'll bring you good fortune. The open air structure is four stories tall. And here we are, the fashion capital of the world. Ronnie Drug is here to Louis Vuitton because he's trying to find a gift for his lady. So I figured I would check it out a bit. After some shopping, Ronnie and Bobby wanted to get some drinks. But being my first time in Milan, I wanted to go check out the Duomo. Construction began in 1386 and it took almost six centuries to build with the final details finished in 1965. This massive Gothic cathedral has over 3,400 statues and 135 gargoyles. It is dedicated to the Nativity of St. Mary. Incredible. Looks like everybody's been touching baby Jesus. You can buy tickets online, show your purchase, and get right in. First stop, climb to the top. It's a long way to the top, but there's different tickets if you want to take the elevators or not as well. They just cost more. But we're up here on the terraces, checking out the incredible view, and up close to some of its artworks. There you can see one of the gargoyles, and on the right, that was the line to get in to climb the terraces. There's 135 spires, which are characteristic elements of Gothic architecture. The entire building is made of pink-hued white Italian marble. We've reached the top and the main sphere, which is 354 feet high, and in 1774, a Golden Mary was placed.
really wanted to come inside to see the incredible stained glass. And Duomo has so much of it. In a time where there wasn't much imagery, even paintings were for rich people, to walk in here and see this stained glass must have been astounding. The Duomo, as Bono said, up the road is like Italy's first cinema. Stories told through color projected by sunlight. Vintage trams in the city date back to the 1920s. Our friend Bobby said we have to go check out the statue near the Italian Stock Exchange that was dedicated to the banks after the financial crisis of 2007. The artist didn't exactly say what he meant when he created the statue, but for sure, point well taken. For the best restaurants, bars, and nightlife, come to the Navigli District. It's one of the best hot spots in the city, and my friend Ronnie, he lives here. So I get to stay with him at his pad all week. A panzarotto? Panzarotto. Panzarotto. Bravo. And you're number one. Go. Yeah. You want? Okay, okay, okay. Grazie. Number one, pa panzarotto? Panzarotto. Panzarotto. Grazie. Oh, salami, spicy. Spicy salami. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Oh, salami, salami. good. It's not too much dough. Yeah, and just the sauce in it. It's not overwhelming, it's hot, it's, it seems fresh. Adjectives to describe, it's delicious. <laughs> salami is really, mm, good. You slice it really thin so you can bite into the, the deli meat and stuff. That's thin and delicious and powerful but not overwhelming. How do you explain it? Yeah. Awesome. Wow, right? Salute! 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 Salute. Salute. Thank you. So I had my grandfather was in the United States Navy and my uh my other grandfather was in the Italian army. Yeah! yeah. This is what happens when you travel with the mayor. The mayor. <laughs> it's the dingo. Hey, we just go around and have a good time, right guys? Right, right. After a few rounds of cigars and wine with Ronnie and Bobby, I decided I want to go see more of Milan. I wanted to go see Leonardo da Vinci's painting, The Last Supper. It's here, but guess what? Tickets sell out well in advance, and I missed out. So heads up. But I was getting hungry, and I wanted to go to a place that I saw earlier. One of my favorite things to eat is a kebab, and this place sells kebab pizzas. Sign me up. Order this pizza, it was only 90 euros, and as you saw, they made it fresh. This looks so good. Here we go. Hands down, the best pizza I've ever had. So good. Oh my God. A kebab, kebab pizza. Are you kidding me? I'm coming back here every day. Seems quiet right now, but at nighttime, all these shops open and turn into restaurants and bars that pour out into the street and it gets really busy.
Ronnie had a small emergency and decided to head back to Miami to take care of some things. So he threw me the keys to his pad for the rest of the week. Bobby also took off because he had to go meet some other family in a different part of Italy. So I guess I'm all by myself again. But tonight, I have tickets to see one of my favorite bands they're from the US, but they're playing right here in Milan. So I'm headed towards the train. Looks like Depeche Mode's doing a world tour, but tonight we're seeing the Interrupters. I'll put the link below for that video. The concert was so good last night. I did make a video, but I don't want to put it in this one because not everybody likes the same music. So down below if you want to check it out. Ronnie has a really cool place here. That's his front door. Watch, check this out. So that building is actually a restaurant and the canal is right in front of it. Here's the gate to get inside the actual building up those stairs. But here's that doorway I just showed you, look. Once inside up the stairs, here's the actual apartment or flat. I'm not sure what they call them here. You'll have to excuse the mess. Everybody took off in a real big hurry. It's just me here, so I did clean up a little bit, but not perfect. I just wanted to show you guys, I guess what a typical flat or apartment looks like in the area here. hard to believe at night all the action is just not far from this window so yeah it's just a one bedroom but the actual couch that was behind me turns into a really comfortable couch bed so there's room for more than one person for sure got another one. <laughs> oh my god right you that first bite. Make sure your eyes want to roll back into your head. It's so delicious. Wow. So good. So I'm here another three days. Tomorrow I'm gonna to take a day trip. I'm really excited to Lake Como. And then just come back here and relax and make videos. But don't forget to subscribe guys. And I'll put a couple links to some other adventures in Italy right here.